G'day, Wombat here, and today I'd like to talk to you about guitar leads. We all use them, well, those that play electric guitar use them, and the often asked question, and I get this question a lot, is do you need to spend big dollars on expensive guitar leads to have them sound really great? So, <clears throat> I guess the best way to, to answer this is very simply, no, you don't need to spend big money on guitar leads to have them sound great. Now there's a lot of people that are about to argue with me on this one and please feel free to leave the comments down below and tell me what you think, um, but I can just about guarantee I know what you're going to say. And that is that we, as guitarists, we have for a long time been told that to get the best sound quality out of our instruments, we have to spend big money on expensive guitar leads. So the first thing we need to do is actually look at the argument in the first place, that, that expensive guitar leads are better than cheaper guitar leads. So <clears throat> there's been a couple of studies done recently, and those studies looked specifically at the sound quality of guitar leads at many different price points. Now, the thing that they found, and they used an oscilloscope, if you're not sure what that is, feel free to Google it. Um, they used an oscilloscope to check the frequency differences between the different cables that they tried. And they tried, as I said, many different price points, including some really expensive ones. And what they found is that, yes, they do make a difference in the sound. However, the area of the frequency change where it made the difference was actually in an area of frequency that our human hearing can't hear. So the real answer is yes, they do make a difference, but really they make a difference where we can't hear it anyway. So no, you don't have to spend big money on a guitar lead to get the best sound. So, what is the point then of spending good money on a guitar lead? Well, there's a number of differences. Firstly, the connectors that they put into these more expensive um, guitar leads work a lot better. They connect better, they conduct a little bit better, um, and they give you less noise. Um, also, the cabling that they use inside the, the cable itself, the wiring, um, works at a, at a rate that not only improves your sound, although we can't necessarily hear that improvement all that much, um, it improves handling noise. Now handling noise is something that's really worth considering when you're buying a cable, because even if you're not handling the cable, if you're standing and playing and moving around, that handling noise will still get through, and it can be crackles and pops and things like that. But the other thing that really you need to take into account is longevity. Most of us are pretty poor guitarists, poor as in money-wise, I mean, and we don't necessarily have a lot of money to spend uh, frivolously on things like cables. Now, cables do wear out, but how long it takes a cable to wear out is the real issue here. So I tend to spend decent money on cables, not super expensive, but reasonable money on cables um, because they just simply last longer. So that's really the cable story in a nutshell. Yes, they sound better. No, we can't hear that, that improvement. Um, so we buy for durability, longevity, and things like that, okay? So um, I've seen, I've had some cables that really have only just cost less than $20 and they've lasted just fine and sounded just fine. I wouldn't consider going bargain basement on a lead, but I would consider, you know, between 20 and $50, um, just simply for the longevity that you get out of that, all right? So that's about all I wanted to talk to you today about, the, the guitar lead issue. Um, I'm sure that people will possibly disagree with me, but the tests have been done and you can find them on YouTube. Um, and the reality is they don't make that big a difference um, in the frequencies that our hearing can actually cope with. So there you are. 
as always, thank you very much for watching and rock on, guys.